Hello, this is Trisha from Sandy and Auto, and today I have a Goodwill haul. And uh, so these items will be available in my upcoming live sales, which are every Saturday at 10 p.m. Eastern Time and Wednesday at 4 p.m. Eastern Time. So I'll start blending all of these items in uh, to that uh, to all those future sales. And uh, if you are new to my channel, please subscribe and click the notification bell so. So you'll be notified when I put out new content and when I go live for my sales. And don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. And, um, oh, Joe. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I was watching my cat Joe in the background. So <laughs> he's got it. <laughs> um, so the first item I have here is a box. Love this little tile work in the front with the fishes. And it is just a simple box. Let's see. Nope, I was looking at the back sticker, but it doesn't seem to indicate a lot. Um, I do see that I have a lot of art in this. Now, I really do love, you can see the wall behind me. And during my live sales, you can see one of my gallery walls. And so I love art. And I always go through that when I am at... Um, various thrift stores and antique malls and stuff. And so here is a beautiful shot. This is called Sydney Lights. And I think you can see down at this end is the Opera House. So that is beautiful. And I am putting together, I'm going to set that aside actually, uh, because I am finding a bunch of Australian stuff at my thrift stores. Um, and so I'm going to kind of group them together and part of an upcoming sale will be kind of an Australian sale um, where I will show off a bunch of um, a bunch of Australian stuff. Yeah, it's just really strange. Uh, so here is a beautiful, there we go. This is by Gary Lyons in Homer, Alaska. And then it says Prince Plus in California. But I love those wolves. Here is the, um, this is the Four Seasons. And this one is, well, okay. I'm not sure which season this is. But this was a birthday gift on April 15th, 1964. And I will have to figure out. Let's see, the poinsettias, no. The tulips, oh, maybe that's the tulips. Summer luscious full flowered roses. Yeah, I don't think those are roses. So this must be spring. I'm going to say that is spring because those look like tulips to me. Here is a shot that is Wells Cathedral. But I really liked how, how real classic and kind of, kind of dark that picture is. Okay, and you guys know I love Jody Bergsma, who is a local Western Washington artist. And this is one of hers. And it says, I'll be your friend, will you be mine? Isn't that sweet? This one says, I don't know where I'm going, but I'm on my way. Here is a Noah's Ark bake set that has the cookie cutter and this colorful background so you can display your cookies. Um, here is another Jody Bergsma. 
And it says, oh, this one I'll have to move up because this is a mom one. Um, moms hold their children's hands for a while, their hearts forever. And here is that one. So I'm going to set that one aside also so I can make sure it is coming up soon so I can get it out for Mother's Day. And then here is another wolf one with these beautiful um, native wolves. But I loved that one. And then here is a tray. This is a Hasco made of select wood covered with fine lithograph. Okay, and then on to here where I have some more art. But I have this um, little cabinet, little farm cabinet, and then it's just burgundy all around. Let's see. No, nothing special on the bottom, but I really liked that paint. Thought that would be great in a little country kitchen. And then here, let me uncover this part so you can see. I really liked this. Now it does say um, St. Lucia. I think that says St. Lucia on it. But I just loved, we've got the bird here, and then we've got another one back here. And again, for Australia, because <laughs> I keep finding them. Now, this one does have a little bit of damage right here. The little, poor little koala is missing an eye. But this is a handmade book, and you can see the leaf that were used and this twig for the spine and then all of these really nice natural pages. So I just loved that. So even though the koala is missing an eye, um, I still thought that was really cool. Um, here is this, I couldn't quite figure out what was, if this is a picture or if this was just the picture that came with the frame but that little kid is so cute. I really liked that. Um, here is a um, label and this is oh, oat cakes made in Scotland. The finest cordons, but again, farmhouse kitchen or something. I love that, that uh, chicken on there. And it was really fun that it was advertising something from Scotland. Here is a, um, oh, this is a Pimpernel. There we go. A Pimpernel, like a hot pad, but love the cat. This I really loved. The kind of uh, Victorian writing. I loved that. Here's another kind of Victorian print. And we've got the girl sleeping and the cute little dog checking in on her. Yeah, this one was really special. Look at that fairy with the bumblebee. Oh, isn't that just fantastic? Okay, and then what is this? Oh, this is a turtle. There we go. So this is a little bobble turtle. So as he sits there, his head bobbles around and then so does his little tail. And he's got a mark, oh, made in Japan. So there is his little made in Japan mark, but isn't he just adorable? Let's get him. Oh, okay. Well, he's missing a leg and I don't know if I just did that or if he was always missing a leg, but even without, oops, 
even without a leg, he is still super cute. I'll see if it's in here. Um, here is a little grab bag that has um, these little candlesticks. And then we've got some um, napkin rings that are done like little teapots. And then I've got some jewelry. Um, we've got a bumblebee pin and a, well, a couple bumblebee pins. And then I think this is either a bracelet or a necklace that has these glass beads on it. And then in here, I've got another little bracelet with some really pretty glass beads. And then I've got this beautiful brooch right there. And, oh, so I've got this little cup and um, saucer set, and I was trying to see where it was made. Okay, I could reach that. <laughs> Get my little scissors. See, I took a chance on these because they had taped over where it was made, and so I couldn't quite get it. And this is IKEA, uh, made in Turkey. But I loved the color. That's a very mid-century modern color. And yes, IKEA does do that. And then we've got these little cups, just little espresso cups, set of four. Yes, Ikea does good work also. Okay. And then I have this. This is a, a little cardboard box. It's a nesting box. So we've got the flowers with the bees. Then I'm going to open that up. And there is another box inside. So it's just the two, but love the prints on those. Here is a Royal Kent from Poland. And it is a creamer with this beautiful rose on it. But I don't see a lot from Poland, so that was fun. And I did not find the little turtle egg, but I will, or turtle leg, but I will keep looking for it. Could be reason why it was at the Goodwill. And at the time, I thought it was cute enough without that I was um, going to take a chance on it. Okay, I've got this beautiful cobalt blue butter dish. This is Kaiser, West Germany. And it is this vase. Really beautiful. Grows great with that cottage core um, or Victorian type look. And I couldn't leave this behind. Um, we've got the pink depression glass bowl.
beautiful big bowl. And then I've got this very 70s style bowl, and this is Colorama Premier Japan. <laughs> Love those flowers. And Tweety on a little um, timer. We'll see if Tweety works. This is marked um, the Warner Brothers store. I thought I saw, oh, 1999. It's like, I thought I saw a date on there. So yes, 1999. So I've got the timer counting down. We'll see if it, I knew I could hear the timer, but I can't remember if it makes a ring sound or not. And then here is a beautiful little platter. And this is Golden Rose made in Japan, but just a really sweet little pink platter. And then here is another really cool bowl and they put the sticker right where the little design is. So let me get this off a bit so you can see the pretty design. Come on. There, well, that's, that's a little better, but now you can see the pretty flowers in there. And this is not marked, but I love those flowers, very mid-century. And then the last item I picked up, I really don't know if this is an exact set or not, but um, if not, it's still worth, oops, it is still worth having for the parts. So it is this, lid on a tray it does fit like it's made for it so i'm going to do some investigating but i don't really remember that type of a lid on a like cheese or butter dish or something but definitely could and i'm going to see if maybe i can find some um, maker's mark on it to see if this is like Westmoreland or what, there is a mark on here. And Tweety looks like he's done uh, counting down and he did not ring. Um, so it looks like this is marked with a K on the bottom. The plate has a K. And this, hmm, I am not seeing a mark, but I'm going to do some more investigating. But again, there is the pattern on that. So um, it is interesting that it fits like it is a set. But again, I'm going to do some more looking. So um, there we go. That is the Goodwill haul. Um, so some really fun items, little variety, lots of art. I don't think I got all of this at the same time because I don't remember buying all that art at one time, but sometimes the Goodwill bags kind of get mixed together and I just grab a few for um, for uh, these, um, these uh, thrifting videos. So I hope you enjoyed this and uh, remember to uh, subscribe, like, comment, share, all that good stuff. And um, yes, yeah, so I hope to see you at some upcoming sales where uh, these will be kind of worked into it. And um, thanks for watching and I will see you next time.